The 310 has built-in pressure sensors which mean the analyzer can be used to check the flue draft or to measure gas pressure. To measure draft, select the test on the screen. And then with the probe in fresh air, press start. The pressure sensors adjust the barometric pressure for 5 seconds. It's important that the probe is in fresh air while the pressure sensors are zeroed. Then it's ready for the probe to be put in the flue with the boiler running. The 310 immediately displays the small pressure caused by the flue draft. When the reading is stable, press stop which freezes the current measurement and puts it in the clipboard for printing later. To measure gas pressure, select the pressure test mode which causes the 310 to remind you to fit the pressure plug in the probe. This seals off the gas path to allow pressure to be measured. Remove the filter and put the orange plug into the hole in the centre of the probe handle. Once the plug is in place, press start to zero the pressure sensor before connecting the probe to the gas supply with the silicon hose. Again, it's important that the sensors are zeroed in fresh air, not connected to the pressurised system. When the pressure sensor has been zeroed, you can fit the silicon hose to the probe and connect it to the test point to measure the gas pressure. The 310 displays pressure in hectopascals, but if you prefer to record it in millibars, then just remember that one millibar is equal to one hectopascal. When you press stop at the end of the test, the analyzer will remind you to remove the plug and refit the filter in the probe handle. The pressure and draft readings are held in the analyzer as long as it's switched on. The pressure reading is labeled P2 and draft would be stored as P1. Now when the ticket's printed, it will include pressure measurements as well as the associated flue gas readings.